In this week's AMA video, I was asked a question about images. Um, somebody was working with a marketing person and they'd been asked for a high resolution image and they couldn't understand why the image that they had was low resolution. How do they get a high resolution one? You know, what happens? So in this video, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna take a picture of my on my phone and then I'm gonna show you what happens with the different resolutions so that you can understand what's happening and what you're doing and how to get the image quality that you need. I'm going to show you how to reduce the resolution of an image because that's sometimes great if you want to save space um, and then also how to get a high resolution image and hopefully um, it will it will help you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, on my phone. So I'll share my screen with you. Okay, so I'm going to take an image picture on my phone. I'm gonna just take it with my coffee cup, um, Disney coffee cup. <laughs> Anybody that knows me well knows my, my love for Disney. Okay, so we've got, an image, we've got a picture. I'm now gonna send this picture to myself in a variety, a variety of ways so that you can see the difference. So the first one I'm gonna do is, is, I use an iPhone and I use a Mac. So one option is that I have is called AirDrop. Uh, so I can directly transfer this image and, uh, to my laptop. So we're gonna do that first. So I'm gonna AirDrop it first. If you don't have a Mac and you want to know how to do this, this is the same as loading it directly onto a OneDrive or loading it to a Dropbox or something like that. Second one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Facebook message it to myself. So this is Facebook message it to myself. And the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna email it to myself. So when you do email, you usually have, um, you usually have an option, you'll see it in a second, of what size you want. Now, email inboxes only have a certain amount of space. So if somebody has sent you an image, sometimes what they do is they send it at a low resolution because they want to save the space on their email inbox. So when you click send, it will say small, medium, large, or actual size. I'm gonna send it large. So there we go. So now we're gonna go and have a look at those images and see what a difference that has made in terms of resolution. Share my screen. Okay, so let's go to my email first and download the one from my email, this one. So I'm gonna right click, save as. Uh, I'm just gonna call it coffee cup uh, email so that we know which one it is. And I'm gonna save it all to downloads so they're all in the same place. So that's my email. The next one we're gonna get is the one off Facebook. So I'm gonna go and log into my Facebook. I'm going to get the one from the Facebook Messenger and then I'll show you the difference between the three. So I will be at the top. Here I am. There's my picture. Right click. Let's save image to downloads. I now have that one. So what difference does it make? Let's go have a look. So here we have three images. We have this one, which is H-E-I-C. This is called the direct link one that I sent. And the reason why it's H-E-I-C is because it's from an iPhone. So from iOS 11, I, uh, Apple started doing pictures in what they call um, a high efficiency image rather than a JPEG. The reason that they did that is because it saves space. It's a better, it's just as good a quality as JPEG, but it's a smaller image. Um, so that's why they did that. There is rumours over time that everybody will be starting to swap to um, HEIC rather than JPEG, but who knows? Anyway, as you can see, that one is 1.4 megabytes in size. I can just change the name of this to JPEG. Ask me if I want to use JPEG. There we go. 1.4 megabytes. This one is the one from my email. So that is 722 kilobytes 
kilobytes are smaller than megabytes. And this one is from the Facebook Messenger, which is nine kilobytes, which is really small. So why does this make a difference? Well, let me show you by using PowerPoint. So here's my PowerPoint. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to import the one from Facebook. And you will see a difference. That's the one from Facebook. And this is the one from the email. So as you can see already, one is a lot larger image than the other one. So when I make this bigger, and you see that the quality is really fuzzy. It's not a very clear quality image. And that's why people say to you, please can I have a high resolution image is because whatever they're using it for, they need a, the bigger image. And when they try and stretch it, it looks, it starts to lose the quality. So they can't get the quality for, for, for what they want to use that picture for. This one uh, is the one from email. And if we compare that to the one that I directly sent, this 1.4, they will appear the same size. Um, that one's a little looks a little bit bigger. Uh, so that is fine. But you will see, I, if I make this one bigger, can you see the bigger that I make it, the, the more it starts getting a little bit, it just gets a starts getting a little bit fuzzy, a little bit. Depends on size. So you don't always have to send the highest resolution image. Um, if they only want it a certain size, then something that's been emailed will be perfectly good. Why might you want to make it smaller? Um, so there's a really interesting thing about PowerPoint is it can autom automatically compress your images. So if I delete the high res one. So there is an option in PowerPoint about um, compressing your images. So if you have a PowerPoint and it's 25 slides long, then there is an option when you um, on file that is compress pictures and that will compress all the size of your pictures. Because if you have high resolution images on 25 pages of PowerPoint, that, that PowerPoint is going to be a huge size. So you might want to compress the pictures. The other thing about PowerPoint, and I've used this a few times, is this was 800 and odd kilobytes when I... Ate, Put, put it into PowerPoint. If I right click on PowerPoint and save as picture, and I save this as PowerPoint image, uh, it's a JPEG and it's going into the, the downloads folder. If I save that now and I open it up, as you can see, the PowerPoint image is 104 kilobytes. So um, as you can see that again has compressed that image because I've saved it from PowerPoint into being a picture. So we need to be careful over where we're saving images from and what we're using them for and how we're sending them because each one can have an impact on the size of the file. So if you, you somebody asks you for a, a photo and you Facebook message them, it's going to be a really low resolution image. The other thing is, this is one of the reasons why professional photography is so good is because if you have a professional photographer, A, your images are going to look really good, but their cameras can take images that are a lot higher resolution. So I had a um, photo shoot done and if we look at some of those images in terms of the size of them, 13.8 megabytes. So that image at 13.88 megabytes is such a high quality image. Um, and that's a good reason to have professional photos done is because then they're super, super high, brilliant quality images that you can use for all sorts. You can lower the, the resolution as you've seen. So if I inputted that one into PowerPoint and then saved it, it would be a lot less. So you can then take the high resolution and make it a small one. What you can't do is you can't take a small resolution image and make it a high resolution one. Because it's already a small resolution, that's the quality of the image. I can't then add quality to the image. Um, I hope that makes sense. So let me uh, stop sharing. 
So have a think about what you need your images for. Sometimes people will send you an image and purposefully send you a small one to save on email space. So any email inbox only has a certain amount of space. So if somebody, if I'm going out to um, ask to be featured in a magazine, I will small send the small image because people's inboxes get absolutely flooded. And if everybody was sending images at 13 megabytes, it'd run out pretty quick. But then I always say in the email, I do have a high resolution one. If you want it, let me know. And then I will put it on my OneDrive or Dropbox and share it with the link with them so that they can download it at the, the higher resolution. So I hope that's helped you understand images. And I also did a video about the difference between raster image and vector image and how that helps in terms of presentations and things like that. So I'll link that video down in the description so you can go and have a look if you want to learn more about images and uh, getting them really good quality. But I hope that's helped and I will see you in the next AMA.